channel. My name is Sierra. Thank you guys for watching this video. I want to start off by sharing with you the recipe or like the salad that I put together with all of the prep things that I show in this video. So this is a sweet potato quinoa bacon salad. <laughs> um, it's inspired by a restaurant that I went to years ago. It's a mix of spring, spring lettuce um, and then it's got some quinoa, some cranberry, Ooh. and then we have queso fresco, some of the sweet potato that I cooked today, along with a creamy balsamic vinaigrette, and I believe that's all that's on the salad. I didn't add any protein, just because <laughs> there's really no reason why. Um, but yeah, aside from that, um, I don't exactly know what this video is titled, but however I decide to title it, um, I hope that you guys enjoy the video. I hope that you guys get some inspiration. This is something that I do, I try to do every week or two weeks depending on what's going on. I found that for me in my living situation, it's better to already have products or not meals, but just food that is ready for me to heat up because um, since it's not, how do I explain it? Because I do live with my sister and her husband sometimes, they already cook their own meals and sometimes I am invited to eat that food and I don't always want to or I just don't always want to go into their space and try to make my own meal um, just because they're doing their own thing. So it's better for me to have already prepped basic pieces that I can just put together so that would go along with the cauliflower that I made, the sweet potato, it could be different for you if you were somebody that wanted to do Brussels sprouts, asparagus, or broccoli. As you guys will see in the video, there's different elements that I make and I'm able to make it into different meals. So I did take different elements from what I made today and put it into a salad, but on another day I would take different elements and put it into like a rice bowl. So I'd have like the shrimp with the rice or I could do it with quinoa instead and I could have like the sweet potato or the cauliflower on the side. It's pretty much up to me and I get to play around with all the things as well as the bacon. The bacon doesn't have to be put into a salad, it could be put on to a sandwich, you know? Um, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys like this video. I'm going to go ahead and just get into the video. Okay, so this first recipe is just a classic recipe of roasted vegetables. It can be modified however you please. So what I have is sweet potatoes, butternut squash, and cauliflower. And basically all that I'm doing is I'm making sure that if they are not pre-washed, I'm washing them. And then I did go ahead and chop them up however I felt I wanted them which were relatively larger sizes just because I know that once they start cooking and like roasting in the oven that they would shrink just a tiny bit and I did marinate them with some canola oil And then the next thing is just some sugar-free dry rubbed bacon that I decided to cook up for some salad and some sandwiches. I did make sure to go in and flip the bacon once it was like halfway through. I believe that these only needed to be in the oven for like 6 minutes. I think it took 6 to 9 minutes. So I did go ahead and flip that and then I put them back in for the remaining 3 minutes and then took them out to cool. Okay, so now we have rice and quinoa. These are pretty self-explanatory. I typically will do, for every one cup of rice, I'll do two cups of water. If it's gonna be brown rice, I'll probably do three or four cups of water for every one cup, just because that soaks up a lot more water. Same goes with the quinoa. I'm gonna do one cup, and it'll probably be three cups of water, just because I feel like that soaks up a lot more water than a typical, just like white jasmine rice would. And then you're gonna go ahead and let these both cook until the texture and then changes and then they're completely soft. Okay, so the only snack choice that I chose that I needed to prep was going to be watermelon. The rest of it was like berries, things that I could easily grab, a banana. So for the watermelon, I cut off the ends and I cut down the sides. This is actually a new way of cutting a watermelon. This isn't typically how I would do it, but I found that this worked very well and cut off the sides and then I just chopped down into slices and then I decided to cut those 
all up into chunks and then throw them in a big Tupperware bowl. So for the honey garlic shrimp, it's a pretty simple recipe. You're just gonna take some garlic, dice that up, throw that into a bowl and mix it with some soy sauce and some honey. I am gonna go ahead and leave the measurements for both of those below. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and add a pound of some shrimp. Of course, you're gonna wanna make sure that you take off the tails. That is one mistake that I made when I did this. Once I was like eating the shrimp, I had to pick apart each piece of shrimp to take off the tails. It was something that completely crossed my mind. But you're gonna go ahead and after that, let that marinate for 10 minutes and then put it onto the stove. I've got some canola oil. Again, I'd probably use like olive oil or avocado oil, maybe some sunflower seed oil. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure each piece of shrimp is laying flat and you're gonna cook those for about two to three minutes on each side, covering it. And then I did add some flour to thicken up the soy sauce and honey mixture. That's completely optional, but I found that I wanted to have a paste-like like coating around the shrimp. And that's what that ended up looking like. And then once this is done cooking, you can serve it with the rice or the quinoa and then a side of veggies. This is bomb. Oh my god. It's funny that I used to say I hated vegetables, but. Mm. And it's colorful too. If you guys want to see more meal prep, more health related videos, or if you just like the video in general, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.